All right, Halos, welcome back. Uh, how's everyone doing? We are going to do some more League patch notes today, um, patch 14.22, and we're joined by Drew once again. How's it going, Drew? What's up? Hey. It's going good. Awesome, awesome. All right, uh, let's jump straight into it. I am Bessa. Have you tried her at all? Um, um, I have not tried her, but I've played against her. Okay. She is really fun. I've only played her, I played her in a bots game to get first one of the day the other night when I had a little bit of time, and she is really fun. Uh yeah, Definitely. Sure, sure, sure. Lots of dashes, way too many dashes. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, obviously she is released and I also haven't I haven't tried the area map yet, but that's out as well. That I have tried, it's pretty fun. Nice. I heard it's really good. But alright, um so systems. So we got bounty tracking. Bounty is now showing the scoreboard after hundred goals instead of hundred and fifty. Not a big deal, but hey, something. Uh, side lane minions. So side lane minion move bo speed bonus. The minions de gain decaying bonus move speed. Uh, is the old version. It was 120 to move speed to for the first uh, 14 minutes, and then now it is 120 to zero move speed, scaling with game time for the first 14 minutes. So, um, I think yeah, basically they're like saying like last year they made the mid and side lane. Uh, minion waves crash at the exact same time. Now they're making it so that mid laners have a little bit more time to roam to the side lanes to get like kills and and to do stuff. Um, okay. Something like that. It's kind of a little confusing, but basically that's what they're saying. They're saying like it's easy easier for um, them to make less roams. I think. Wait. wait. I don't know, too, but yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I'm not really 100% <laughs> sure, but anyways, yeah, that's uh, that's something that's changed, definitely. I don't know if you've noticed them being, like, more speedy or slower or something, but... No, but I, yeah, I haven't paid too close. I'll, I'll, now that I see that, I'll probably pay more attention. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyways, um, Aatrox, uh, his R World Ender, the total attack damage is going up, I believe. Oh, no, down, down. Uh, so apparently it was 20%, 32.5%, and 45% pick up based on rank. Now it's 20, 30, and 40% based on rank. So just a little bit down in the second, third ranks of that. Yeah. Okay, cool. No big deal. And Nivea, they're giving her less armor per level, uh, just Good. by a little bit. And then uh, Frostbite, her E, is getting small nerf of five percent AP scaling. Um, so that's not that's not too bad. No, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, it's actually probably. A good thing overall, I would say. I think any of these pretty annoying to play against right now. So. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Understandable. Uh, Blitzcrank, B power face. We're finally getting this back up to uh, relatively similar power. Um, so it was just 180% total AD plus 25% AP. Now it's the 200% total AD, which what is what it was I think a year or two ago, and then they yes. nerfed it uh, after he got like kind of strong with all the changes to his W and, and stuff like that. So yeah. It's getting back to its power. I'm excited because I've kind of been wanting to play him, but after I saw the nerfs back then, it was like, eh, I don't know. Yeah, it was it's a little a rough. Of damage. Yeah. yeah. But, okay. Yeah. That'll be good for him. Oh, yeah. Uh, Briar, more health. So she's going up from 590 to 625. Uh, it's, it's kind of a good amount. Base. Yeah. Um, she'll clear a little bit. A little bit easier, a little bit healthier. Remember, she uses, uh, she doesn't have built-in what's it called, uh, life or sustain. So, yeah, I yeah. feel like the more health, the better for her. Yeah, it's definitely pretty nice for her because I mean, it's not like huge, but it's definitely nice because it's just it makes her more tanky and she can live longer. Obviously, so that's very helpful for her, especially early game. Um, yeah, because that that extra time can really matter. And then Corky's up next. We just some small changes here too. Um, base stats: the attack damage growth was 2.5. Now it's just two, so you're getting half an AD less per level. And then uh, mana growth is was 54. Now it's 40, so it's down by 14 every level, which is pretty big. Uh, both of these are pretty pretty large, I'd say. But overall, it's not like the biggest deal, I don't think. Um, people will will learn how to manage his mana pool a little better and stuff like that. <laughs> so it should be fine. Yeah, I think he gets mana boon anyway, right? He does normally, yeah. so it's not too bad. Yeah. Uh, a couple changes for Fizz. So they are giving him also up in 10% AP scaling, 
uh, base damage is the same on his Q. All right. And then his W is same kind of thing. 5% increase in AP scaling uh, base damage the same. So there's more AP scale on his Q and W. Um, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, just, just more did, damage. They did nerf his, uh, nerf Fleshbang a little bit a while ago, right? I think right. just a bit. So, so maybe making up for that, yeah. Possibly. All right, uh, Elawi's up next. We got uh, some base stats here. Attack damage going from 68 to 65, so down by 3 is actually pretty big. Uh, mana growth was 60, now it's 50, so that's down as well, so just a little bit less mana in lane, um, and so on. But eh, overall, I wouldn't see it huge, but definitely definitely hurts her for sure, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, Aurelia, what is going... Okay, I just see new. Okay, passive. So her passive uh, stacks refresh when attacking structures. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, damage now applies to structures at 50% effectiveness. I don't know. Let me see if it says up top. Uh, let's her retainer stacks on hidden structures plus deal with partial damage. Okay, I was trying to see, so before she would drop her stacks, and I guess she didn't get any bonus damage at all, so this is just like a great buff, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Pretty yeah, nice okay. for her. It's actually su super nice. This is surprisingly um, surprisingly large, even though they say it's more of a quality of life change, I think. Yeah, it's pretty um, big, I feel it's, like. Yeah, it's pretty big, actually. But yeah, it's definitely super nice for her, and she's been getting quite a few buffs recently, I think, so... Um, I think she's going to be pretty strong. I mean, she she already was strong in my opinion, but even stronger. Yeah. So there you go. They thought she was weak. Uh, let's see. So Jax is up next. We got uh, our our changes here. So uh, cooldown was 190 and 80 based on rank. Now it's 110, 100 and one and just 90. At uh, so just down up by 10 seconds at every rank basically on the cooldown, which is pretty pretty nice. Um, and then damage was 150 to 350 based on rank now it's 100 to 250 based on rank just for the flat damage and that's like the kind of activation um so it's actually pretty decent sized nerf um pretty large actually i'd say but overall i think it's still fine for him it's just he doesn't get that one shot quite as much um where he just presses r and he gets all the bonus resists as well as a huge amount of damage plus the on hit that he already had <laughs> so definitely yeah Good nerfs, I'd say overall. Smart area to attack, but uh, still, I think he's fine. Yeah, he was definitely like pretty strong, so this yeah. really matter too much. Definitely. Uh, Katarina, Katarina is getting cooldown. E it used to be fourteen to eight. Now it's twelve to eight. So at max rank, it is going to end up at the same spot, but early two seconds off of it so she'll be a lot more mobile yeah, uh, really early nice. on which is nice for her play style and then um i feel like this one's pretty big too cooldown is way way down on her r 75 60 45 so rank one especially is the one where it's impacted so um both these changes are great for like level six katarina yeah definitely i will say that the e um even though it is pretty nice it does get reset every time you pick up a dagger and that's the main way that you're using it so probably not like as big of a deal as it might seem but it's definitely really nice and then the r is definitely good too but um uh, actually that's that's probably just a, a really good buff overall so yeah, I think yeah. So. but yeah definitely nice nice buffs for katarina i think she's been getting some buffs too like in a row as well so pretty good for her and then Kale, passive divine ascent. Uh, attack speed per stack is the only thing that's changing here is uh, the per 100 AP scaling. So it was 0.5% per 100 AP, now it's 1%. So it's not really huge, but I mean, it is per stack, and I mean, you get some. But I mean, even, even say Leah, you have like two or three items, like you're about three or 400 AP, maybe it's only like 4% per stack. So it's like, what? You get five stacks or six stacks, I think. So it's like, yes, it's like a but, decent uh, amount, like so, 30 five, five. yeah, 25, 20, something like that. Um, but it's not being super crazy still. Um, but yeah, a, a max attack speed obviously it says here as well. Um, you will get plus five percent per uh, 100 percent of AP instead of the 2.5 percent as it would have been before. So pretty, pretty nice, but like at the same time, not like huge. 
<laughs> um, I kind of do hope they'd buffer a little bit more. They did buffer, I think, Blast Hatch by making her W cost a lot less than the mana, I believe, so that was really nice. So definitely a little bit, little bit's help as well. Our, uh, our good friend, Sante. <laughs> he back. But, uh, he's back again. He's always here. Um, so the Q is getting some just damage nerf to the Q. So it's going down, it looks like 10 at every single rank. Um, yep, so 10 damage reduced per rank. So it's now 70 to 190. Okay. And then uh, footwork is his E. Um, and in all out form, it is as a stay buff. Yeah. By quite a bit, actually, movement speed. Um, yeah. So Big. it's now 1250 plus his movement speed instead of 950 plus his movement speed. So, um, yeah, that's a little bit of a nerf on the Q and then a pretty nice buff on the E, I would say. I might have to disagree that they say he's too easy to kite and all out. I think he's. <laughs> Has like 18 dashes sometimes. Um, <laughs> uh, Depends on your character. You're comparing him to Ambassador, maybe, but if you're, <laughs> you know, compare him to anybody else, uh, he's pretty hard to kite. Yeah, yeah, I, I would say so. I think it's a little dis, uh, you know, disconnected, but hey, um, definitely interesting, I guess. Um, the down, down by 10 flat on the Q is decent because he does spam it, but. Yeah, true, true, true. I don't know. I'm not sure. Definitely hurts him, obviously. <laughs> um, okay, Lilia armor growth was 5.2, now it's 4.5, so a little bit less tanky in the terms of armor. And then passive dream laden bow, bow? Um, bow, I think. Bow, bow, bow? Yeah, I think it's bow. Probably bow, yeah. Uh, monster heal over time was 35, 39 to 54 based on level, now it's uh, 39 flat, so you don't get that uh, extra scaling, which I don't think is huge but definitely definitely was nice for sure still have the yeah, AP so... scaling as well so you're fine i think but yeah it's a little bit weaker in the early game especially i would say um but yeah all right <clears throat> what is next here we've got ba -ba -ba, maokai so maokai is he's in kind of a weird spot i feel like i've seen him top recently which is interesting like him going back to the top lane but yeah. maokai is getting his movement speed up by five his health up by 30 um just base so those are just some nice little buffs nice. and then sapling toss is i actually did not know this it seems like his sapling movement speed was actually based on <laughs> yeah some fell was based on his boots yeah <laughs> which is kind of weird i did not know that um but now it's just gonna scale i guess more normally ranks one through 13 400 to 460 uh no longer based on boots so didn't know that about that but okay there you or go maybe it is based on boots but like it's it's less it's like more marginal scaling instead of maybe like just the huge points yeah that's pretty funny though i didn't know that yeah that is kind of interesting bringing his move speed back up and increasing his early game durability made him need uh -huh. to rush boots in order to speed them up okay interesting all right. okay, that's, <laughs> that's funny all right the more you know maokai mains <laughs> yeah uh mordekaiser has been hit quite a few times actually recently i think um so they're kind of just knocking him down. He is pretty easy, I guess, to play, so sort of makes sense, but still um, kind of sucks for him. E Death's Grasp, the damage on it, looks like the flat damage is going down by 10 at every rank, which is decent. And then the AP scaling is down by 20%, actually, which is pretty large. Um, he does build quite a bit of AP as well, so that's pretty big. Um, huge nerf for Mordekaiser here. Let's see. Not really a big change for Poppy, but um, <laughs> it's just four attack damage, which, I mean, could it's matter. It's pretty yeah, it's decent. And then, uh, yeah, level one attack speed is going, I guess, what is that, up just oh, ever so slightly? Yeah. That's kind of okay. interesting. Yeah, so she attacks a little bit, a little bit faster, but does less per attack. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, overall nerve, I would say, but maybe maybe it's decent. I don't know. Hard to say. Uh, Rumble. Uh, base health just getting up a little bit here by, it looks like, 30 points. Um, so just a little bit longer he can survive. Not, not too big of a deal, but definitely nice for him. Not bad. Hey, not bad. Girl. Let's go. Uh, sad times. Damage nerf. Yeah, um, it's not. It's not too bad. Um, unless if you're playing your support, it's 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 fine. It's just a ten percent uh, AP reduction on the Q. Um, it's targeted to make like the APC version of her feel a little bit weaker. Yeah. Um, but they've they've been hitting her damage a lot. Like even yeah. going back last year. So uh, she already wasn't like the great in the greatest spot when it comes to building ap um so this is more of the more of the same trend unfortunately yeah, that's pretty crazy they've been hitting her a crazy amount i don't think it's i don't think it's necessary honestly but i guess she is pretty strong to be honest so i don't know she's also weak though in some ways so uh, yeah that's what i'm saying um all right uh shin is up next we got passive key barrier cooldown was 10 now it's 11 so they're making it a little bit longer now and the cooldown refund based on level was 4 to 7.5 seconds uh now it's 4 to 8 seconds based on level um all right and our stand united shield was looks like it's getting nerfed overall so down by 10 points rank, rank one down by 70 points at rank two and then like 70 points of rank 3, it looks like, as well. I think so. Or, no, 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 it's more than 70. That's, like, 100 and 130 points at rank 3. And then it also is losing, looks like, 1% of the bonus HP scaling as well. So pretty pretty large nerf for R, uh, just overall for Shen, I guess, but for R especially. Um, and then the max shield ends up being uh, 720 max rank and then only 512 now. And then it's also losing um, that bonus HP, of course. So it's just kind of, like, giving you a little idea of how much it's actually losing from this which is pretty big um, yeah. yeah yeah for sure definitely sucks for shen um kind of sucks because i think he was starting to be kind of in the meta almost or like viable um in some yeah, ways yeah you but... didn't see him too much but there were definitely like you could play him and it was fine so yeah and i mean he is pretty strong when uh in like the rest situations and stuff but at the same time it's pretty pretty large nurse so it's kind of surprising uh, but yeah, we got Swain up next. Oh, a couple of uh, been hearing about this Swain change. So um, he got kind of a bit of an update. So they're doing a uh, second pass at him here. Yep. So uh, Magic Resist and Magic Resist Growth are both up slightly, um, which is good. Make them a little bit more tanky. Uh, Q is getting a flat damage buff um both so how does it do max damage is that when you get hit by multiple zaps because it's like kind of like a spread yeah maybe? Yep, yep. okay yeah, yeah yeah so it is instead of 60 to 160 it's now 60 to 180 so more damage um the more points you put into it and then same with max damage it's 120 to one or 120 to 320 now it's 120 to 360 sweet good um, so yeah there's more damage that's gonna feel good for him um we've got nevermore um that's the grab and that cooldown is down by two at early ranks by the time you get max rank it's still 10 but still nice, less yeah. yeah it'll be good early for sure and then his demonic ascension his alt is just more bonus HP by 0.25%. So now it's 1.5% bonus HP instead of 1.25. So um, that plus the MR changes, he'll be tankier and then more damage on the Q. Yeah. Yeah. This is good, good all, all the way around, I'd say. Definitely really nice because they, they overcompensated a lot of nerfs, especially to his Q, um, I think, uh, because they thought he was going to be like stronger from the rework. And so seeing that they like kind of reverted a little bit of that is really nice actually. So pretty good, pretty good. I like this. Uh, Silas. Um, so health growth is just getting changed a little bit here. It was 129, now it's 122. So he's just a little bit less tanky per level. Um, and that's not a big deal, I don't think, but he does get, stack quite a bit of it. So definitely interesting. Indra? Um, 
damage nerf on the W. It was 70 to 230, now it's 70 to 210. So it's less damage every rank past rank one, and then 5% less AP scaling. Um, so, yeah, just nerfing her W. Um, yeah. I don't know if that was her, like, I don't think she, you max W, but. Uh, I don't remember. I want to say it's Q. I think w. it's Q. I think it's Q then W. So I think yeah. it's not going to hurt so much as, it's not going to feel too bad early game but then once you start putting points in it you'll start to notice the yeah loss of damage like mid to late game i guess definitely it's pretty pretty decent amount but not like insane i would say though this is the one that does get like that true damage after you get those splinters so really uh, true, true, also cool. matters a bit all right and then uh udir is up next so the r wingborn storm i believe is getting nerfed here which is pretty broken already so makes sense um damage was 80 to 440 now it is 80 to 360 so pretty big nerf especially at the later few ranks um the ap scaling said changed there and then the empowered damage was 8 to 16 percent of uh, max hp now it's 8 to 14 percent of max hp and then the monster cap here was 60 uh, plus 400 AP, 400 percent AP, plus 800 percent bonus AD. Uh, now it's 80 to 400 in level scaling. So it looks like they got rid of the scaling for the monster cap, but it's just gonna scale uh, flat with level, sort of. See, it's better early for sure. Well, I think. Actually, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I think it's just a nerf based on the basically on the monster cap. Yeah, quite a bit. yeah, yeah. I think it, I think so. I think so. But um, that's kind of interesting because I feel like that just means they're kind of pushing them a little bit more towards lane then, which I feel like that's not really what they want. I don't know though. That's kind of interesting. That's what it seems like they're doing. Yeah. They're based on, yeah. yeah. Interesting. Okay. I think it's good that they're nerfing it overall, but uh, definitely an interesting direction. Um, Varus, another champion from the Bork nerfs. Um, so they're True. giving him some on-hit damage back. Nice. So it's now from 5 to 25, now it's 8 to 28. So just on hit damage on this W. I like it. Heck yeah, yeah. dude. Okay, and then Vayne, our final hour, the bonus attack damage was 25, 40, and 55 based on rank. Now it's 35, 50, and 65. So just up by 10 in every rank, which is pretty pretty nice, especially since you know you want to get a pretty decent amount of damage out of that R anyway. So. Yeah. Cool. Velkaz. Okay. Um, Velkaz is... This is a buff and a buff. Yeah, just pull down buffs. So, E... What is his E? I can't tell from that picture. Is that the it's one the, that like, like, knock up, it, yeah. like, rips up the ground? Or is that the one that, like... It's the knock-up. Okay. Yeah, it's the knock-up. Okay. Yep, yep. Okay. All right, so... Pull down being down two seconds on that is pretty nice early on. Um, definitely not 14 to 12, but 16 nice. to 12. <laughs> um, and then the alt cooldown down by 20, 10, and then the same. So early cooldown reduction on his alt. Um, yeah, definitely yeah I think that's pretty good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he likes both these for sure. Yep, they're pretty nice. It's good to, good to get him out of like six bad situations, and then obviously yep. his, his R is completely way too much damage. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <Yep. laughs> Uh, and then Vi is getting a little arcane buff here. Uh, the shield <laughs> was 12% uh, of max HP, now it's 14% max HP, so that's pretty nice. Uh, pretty good for her. More arcane buffs. <laughs> uh, Warwick is getting bigger. He's just bigger by 15%. I've okay. noticed this. I've just played him in the game, actually. Uh, unless I'm just, I haven't played him in a while and I don't remember his size, he looks like significantly larger in game. Yeah, 15%. Yeah, it looks yeah. more like fifty <laughs> percent. <laughs> um, well, there you go. And then uh, they did actually some, they did some actual changes too to his numbers. So yeah. uh, the mana cost on W is down by a lot. It's nice. fifty five now. So seventy. Uh, the cooldown is down by twenty at rank one, and then it ends up at forty. So it's eighty to forty instead of one hundred to forty. That's nice. Um, and then spells also trigger the attack speed when we use the damage enemies under 50 percent um okay okay it's really nice actually yeah this is yeah really these nice. are all just good changes bonus from passive uh it was 250 
now it's 200 uh but it's under 25 percent instead of under 20 percent so that's I, I think i think that's good i think that's nice and then um it triggers earlier and then the uh cooldown reduction ticks twice as fast we'll know when it's hunted refunds 30 percent. so they're just making this more of like uh you can not spam it per se but just use it a lot more frequently yeah um, previously i guess so like, much yeah yeah just to like got out maybe see who's around so that feels good and then his e um auto attack lockout after casting e2 so the second e2 is where he does like the the fear like the shout yep um so he can just attack sooner after doing that which is always nice definitely and then infinite terrestre will just be easier to hit um Hit radius is up by 50. Now only latches on the champions in front of Warwick. Um, okay. All right. Well, easier to hit as long as the person's in front of you. Yeah. That's <laughs> uh, all super, super nice for sure. Yeah, like, these are all good. These are all good. Yeah, this is like for the Q and stuff, basically, because um, yep. you wouldn't really get that until you attacked next time. Um, sometimes, sure. sometimes it would work, but not very often. Um, so this is really nice, and then also this is actually pretty cool too because um, you would, the drop off would happen like really really fast. Now it's like it stays for like a second or two or like half a second or so, kind of. So it's actually pretty nice. You get like extra attack speed even though you've already killed the low health enemy like minions and such. Um, it's really good for wave clear and stuff as well. And then like you said, this is super nice getting. Honestly, you wouldn't get this very often the twenty percent, but the twenty five you'll get a lot more even though it is a bit less overall. And then, yeah, just everything else is just really, really nice. Um, yeah, and this was also really annoying. After your, your E, you just wouldn't be able to attack for a little while. It was like you could just die right then. Um, but now it's so much nicer. Yeah, this is all really, really nice. And then at Wukong, base stats, the mana was 300, now it's 330 here. Um, the Warrior Trickster and its W was 22 seconds cooldown to 20, to 14, rather, and now it's just 18 seconds to 14, so down by 4 seconds early and uh, more each rank before the last. So pretty, pretty nice. Pretty nice for him. Yep, okay, nice. Items. Um, what are we doing with items here? So it looks like Yomu's. Um, the recipe... Now has a long sword in it, and I'm more gold. Okay, just because of the pickaxe. So they took out pickaxe and put long sword. Um, they gave it five less attack damage, and it gives four percent movement speed. Um, okay. Yeah, that's I don't know if great. that's. I don't think that's great. I think you like the damage, but, um, and then. They say C Yomu's Ghostblade. Is it the same change here? Yeah, it's kind of like a reverse sort of. I think. Um, basically, the uh, they are changing uh, the the recipe. It's pretty much the same thing as before, like you said. Well, I think so. It's a pickaxe and longsword instead of a uh, rectrix. It looks like. Okay. okay. And then a smaller uh, combined combined cost, obviously. But it's getting the yeah. plus five attack damage that the 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 Yomu's lost basically, and okay. it's, it's losing that movement speed that the Yomu's got. So it's kind of like. Re they're kind of just swapping a few stats there. <laughs> and then the uh, lethality on it for preparation, the passive, I think is actually going up here just by one uh, based on whether you're melee or, or ranged. So um, nice buzz for opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 for sure. Static <laughs> Shiv. Your boy. <laughs> this, this, this item they can never figure out. Um, it's 200 gold cheaper, which is great. Yep. Um, attack damage though is down by five. Attack speed is down by ten. All right, so neither of those is great. And then yeah. let's see. Uh, what did they do? Or is Electro Spark remade? Your first three attacks within eight seconds fire. Chain lightning on hit, hitting up to five targets for sixty damage. Increase to eighty five for minions. Scoring a takedown. Resets the cooldown on Electro Spark. So is this just a new take on the passive? So let's see. Your yeah, first rework, three yeah. attacks within eight seconds. Fire, chain lightning. That feels like a lot of chain lightning, though. 
It is, but you also have a very long cooldown. <laughs> yeah, I see that. I see that. But currently, yeah. it's it's that thing where you have to like kill a, a minion before it actually triggers at all, and you yeah. still do have like a seven or something second cooldown. I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Whatever it is. I think it's hard to tell. A takedown resets the cooldown, so it might be way it might be really good in a team fight like where you're getting multiple takedowns and you're just like spewing out chain lightning yeah but i think other than that like unique situation i think it's just worse probably because all the base stats and stuff are are down yeah i think it's just a lot worse if if the cooldown was pretty low like six seconds or something which is what probably should be um, then I think it would be fine. Or if it was like energized type of thing, um, yeah. it would also be fine. But the fact yeah. that it's just got such a long 25 second cooldown. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. And you're not getting takedowns at that early in the game, I don't think. Right, usually, right. That's what I mean. Like, like late game team fight, it could go crazy. Yeah, but... it could definitely. Like if you jinx or something, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah maybe Zeri too. But other than that, I think it's just worse. Yeah, I would say so. But I don't know. I've been a static hater for. A while now, <laughs> I think it's uh, way too too bot, and it's just so so bad, honestly. And losing those base stats, like you're saying, I think was the main reason why people even bought it in the first place nowadays. Um, more than more so than the passive as much. So I think uh, I think it's pretty bad. <laughs> we'll see though. Maybe it'll work. Maybe maybe every pro will build it just like just like the uh, the other version that's been terrible. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but yeah, Yuntal Wild Arrow stuff next here. So we got uh, plus 50 gold on the cost. It's not crazy, but they've changed the recipe a lot, around a little bit. They've got Scouts, sl scouts Slingshot now instead of Noob and Quiver. Um, and then a couple other things too, but yeah, that's the main that's the main hitting point. Uh, and then attack damage is down by 10 actually, um, which is pretty large. Uh, you actually get removed on the crit completely, but down here it'll make more sense. Um, the attack speed is 25%, um, which you didn't have before, actually. Uh, they removed, removed Serrated Edge, which was the old passive, um, where you would like take like damage over time, over two seconds, if you got a crit or something. And then now they have a new passive. So the one of them is, they have a couple actually, one of them is you get 25% crit. Uh, on attack, you only get 0.2% crit chance, so a you get 25% crit, which is what you had before, but it's over time. It's not immediately once you buy the item. But I believe this works on minions as well. So you really won't, it won't take that long. It'll just kind of be there. And you don't lose this, obviously. It's just you just stack it up and then it's done. And then the new passive on the other part is on attacking an enemy champion, you get 30% attack speed for four seconds, which has a 40 second cooldown, but it's reduced by one second of the cooldown on hit and then two seconds for every crit strike. Um, so it's kind of like Scout's Sling Shot, in a way. Um, but yeah, kind of interesting. I don't know what to think about this item, honestly. I think it could be good, but it's situational for sure. I but, have I seen know. it rushed first item on Jinx into IE. Um, and it, season, seems, I guess, yeah. it seems like it seems kind of good, but I think it's too... I think it's too soon to tell. Um, yeah. But that that's the only time I've been seeing it is like a Jinx rush into IE. That makes sense. Yeah. I think I think it definitely could be pretty good, but it's definitely, yeah, definitely probably more of a Jinx or something item where it's like a crit builder. Um, still, I don't know if you would want to even get a first item that. It would kind of make sense if you did, but it's not really that much of a power spike when there, a lot of these other passives do have a lot more... Like, like uh, Collector is really, really nice because you just get a lot of lethality and as well as getting the execute and stuff as well. It's pretty pretty nice, and it's got some really good stats, but I don't know. Hard to say for sure. But, yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely interesting. Um, I think it's probably better than the old version still, so that's probably good at least. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You want to do Barrier? Let's see. I can do Barrier. <laughs> They are making it. I think this is probably good. They're making it, yeah. uh, reducing it from 120 to 480 to 100 to 460. Um, I know they buffed it because they want it to kind of 
make it a interesting uh, choice. Mm-hmm. Uh, but now I feel like all ADCs run barrier, so I think they're just they like overdid it basically. So that's yeah, kind of. Yeah, I think it's probably yeah. fine, but it does kind of suck at the same time. But I don't know. We'll see. I think it's I think it's fine. Smite is also going to change here. So the epic monster targeting forgiveness was 300 at 125, and basically they they did like a little thing here. They said. Um, they added the targeting forgiveness to smite last year to let players smite dragons even when an enemy champion is overlapping with it. But void grubs have been uh, added, and it means smiting over a grub's corpse will often target the closest living one, uh, wasting your smite, which is kind of annoying. So they're kind of just making it. Uh, there's it's basically supposed to be a buff for smite, but it's just a little weird. That's all. Yeah. More of a quality of life, I would say, almost more than anything. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely something. We do have the ARAM, the Bridge of Progress. It looks really cool. Um, they've got visuals. They've got like new zones and weird stuff. And there's a quest. What? Five years yeah. Nemesis quest. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, I definitely want to dive into that. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's gonna be pretty interesting. Uh. Other than that, that's pretty much it for the patch notes. We've got like Mythic Shop stuff. If you want to pause and read that, bug fixes and quality of life changes, definitely nice. Uh, we've got some skins here, Chosen of the Wolf, a bunch of these, and that prestige one for Swain. Um, the Pantheon look, one looks pretty pretty cool, I think. <laughs> and then, yeah, that's pretty much it for today, though. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, any final thoughts, Drew? No, um, Arcane. Hope everyone enjoys it. Uh, yeah, it's really good. As of recording, the first three episodes of season two is out. So, uh, yeah, oh, enjoy yeah. it. Definitely. All right. Thank you guys for watching, and catch you later. Peace.